Hi. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is just run through part B here. If you want to look at part A, I've done it in a previous video. But uh, if you'd like to read this through, haven't seen this question before, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So it says that write down the value of e of x. So it's got to be fairly straightforward. And indeed it is. What we've got here though, just to appreciate this, is that if we were to sketch the probability density function, let's just put our axes here. We've got x here and we've got f of x here. And we know that k is equal to 4 from the first part of the question. And so we're looking at this probability density function from 0 to 4. And I can see that it's a negative x squared curve. So we're going to have a parabola that's inverted, something looking like this. And it's going to go through the origin because when x is 0, this will equal 0. And when x equals 4, the value of k, it's also going to equal 0. So what we've got then is an inverted parabola looking something like this, going from the origin, peaking, and then back down to 4 here. I've not drawn it particularly well, but hopefully it gives you an idea. And we're told that it's 0 otherwise, so the graph would look like that. But what we're doing is working off the symmetry of this curve. It is meant to be symmetrical about this point here, the midpoint, so that would be 2. And when we have write down the value of e of x, because of the symmetry of the curve, e of x will in fact be 2. So there's our answer that therefore e of x will equal 2, the mean. Okay.